Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you uh, quickly about the different modes that you'll find on your uh, Canon 550D. Um, there's several different shooting modes on your camera and um, I'll go through them now and I'll show you what does what. Okay, so first of all what you want to do is have a look at the top dial on your camera and you'll see you've got loads of different options some are pictures and some are letters. If we start at this uh, this end here, which has got the little picture of the camera on, and then we'll work our way around. Um, in these videos, I'm going to presume that you've got no prior knowledge of DSLRs, um, so I'm going to start from the very basics, um, and then we'll work our way sort of more advanced as we go. Okay, so this mode here um, is a little icon of a video camera. Uh, this is the mode that you have to use when you want to shoot video. You'd put um, the mode dial to line up with this little white line, the little icon, and then you'd press the button on the back here to start shooting video. Um, you can adjust various things in the video settings, and I'll go through that in a different video. If we move the dial down one, you now see there's sort of an icon, there's a, a man in a box with a star. Now this is a night shooting mode or night portrait mode. Um, what this mode allows you to do is to shoot a portrait at night. Um, it will use the onboard flash, so the flash will pop up um, when you use this mode. The flash will light up the subject, um, but the camera will select a slightly longer shutter speed, so it also record some of the ambient lighting in the background so you'll get a nice mix of a correctly exposed subject but also you'll be able to see um, some of the details in the background rather than it just being black so that's a really good mode for you to use if you want to take some pictures of people or other uh, other objects uh, at night but you still want to get um, some of the background detail there as well the next mode uh, is a little running man this is the sport mode um, what this does is gives you um, a fast shutter speed and um, so that will allow you to freeze motion. Um, this mode will be good if you want to shoot your pets or your kids um, if they're moving about and also obviously sports. Um, basically anything where you want to freeze motion, you don't want any blur, um, so fast moving subjects. The next one along is a little flower. Um, this is macro mode. Um, this can confuse some people because they think that macro mode actually allows you to shoot macro photos. Um, that's not true. To shoot proper macro photos, you need um, a proper macro lens or an accessory on your lens to allow you to focus closer. All this does is just sets up the camera settings for a good overall macro type photograph. Now your lens that you've got with the camera, if you've got the 18 to 55mm lens, that can focus quite close and that will allow you to get some good close-up shots, but it's not true macro. However, putting this in the macro mode um, just widens the depth of field, so it will use a slightly higher aperture um, to allow you to get more into focus. The closer that you focus to something, um, the less uh, of it will be in focus. It will also give you a kind of vaguely fast shutter speed to avoid any uh, motion blur. So you can use this mode for macro photos if you have a macro lens, but otherwise it's just um, settings. It won't allow you to actually focus any closer than any of the other modes. The next one along is a mountain. Uh, this is landscape mode. Um, what this will do is give you a... a a narrow aperture to allow the most um, depth of field. When we talk about depth of field that basically means the amount of the image that's in focus from the front to the back. Um, for landscapes often you want as much in focus as possible from the very front of the frame all the way to the background. Um, using this mode will help you with that. The next one is portrait mode. Um, you can use this mode when you're taking pictures of people um, as well as giving you good settings, it will also, um, if you're shooting in JPEG, it will give you some nice skin tones. It will change the picture style. Um, I think the landscape mode does this as well, and some of the other modes probably do. 
um, so it will give you really good nice skin tones as well as changing the aperture and the shutter speed to suit a portrait image. Um, the next one is no flash mode. Um, if you're still using your camera in the auto settings like this you might find that the flash pops up um, when you really don't want it to. Putting it in this mode will stop the flash from firing. Um, so if you're somewhere where flash isn't allowed or where you just don't want flash um, you can use this mode. The camera will select um, the shutter speed and aperture to try and help you get the image without flash um, but you may find you have to hold the camera really steady because it will be quite a slow shutter speed. Um, this mode will raise the ISO which is the sensitivity of the sensor slightly to allow you to get a faster shutter speed. This is green box mode or fully auto. Um, this is the sort of setting where you just put it in and forget about it and the camera does absolutely everything for you. Um, it's a good overall all round thing. Um, if you've just come from a point and shoot compact camera, this might be a good mode to start with just to get used to the handling of the camera. It's basically just a point and shoot mode. Um, put it in that, forget about it and just go out and shoot. Now this one is Creative Auto. Um, this is similar to the green box mode, but it does allow you to uh, manipulate the settings slightly. If I turn the camera on, and you can see on the rear screen, we've got some information here. Um, we've got two bars um, on the top here, and they actually allow you to change the settings. To access these bars, press and hold the Q button and then using the dial on the top that will allow you to adjust um, the different settings. Here we've got flash, um, flash auto, uh, flash on and flash off so you can choose what you want from that and then using the up and down arrows you can actually go through these other settings. What's good about this is it um, tells you what it's doing so if you can see there, it says background blurred and background, sh uh, background sharp. Um, so if you want to have your background blurred, you can come down and, and then using the top dial, you can adjust that setting. And the further that way you have it, the more the background is blurred. And the further that way you have it, the more is in focus. Basically all this is doing is changing the aperture but it's doing it in a way that sort of allows you to um, comprehend it. Again, come down using the bottom button. This is the exposure, darker and brighter. So basically this is changing the shutter speed. So that way it's darker and that way it's brighter. There's several other options here as well. This is your different picture modes and this is your different um, shooting modes and your quality. So that's a good mode where you want to experiment with some different settings um, but you're not entirely sure what they all do. Um, that's kind of a little like guide mode just to help you through. Okay, so that is all the automatic modes. Um, now we're going to move on to the semi-automatic modes. Um, the first one, which is P mode. Uh, P mode is program auto. Basically, it's an automatic setting but you can change some of the variables. If we look on the back of the screen again now, you see up here, if I can just get it back for you, it's got the shutter speed and the aperture. What I can do using the dial is change that setting. It's got a bunch of pre-programmed settings actually inside the camera that I'm changing. So I'm not actually selecting either one. Um, the camera is choosing for me out of the um, kind of the presets, if you like. So this is a good mode where you just want to sort of experiment with different apertures or different shutter speeds, um, but you don't want to actually manually input them yourself. The camera decides everything for you to get the exposure. The next mode we have is TV. Um, this is the uh, also known as shutter priority mode. Basically what this mode allows you to do is to shut, um, sorry, set the shutter speed 
and then the camera will select the correct aperture. So again, using the dial on the top, um, you can see here I'm changing the shutter speed and you can select anywhere from uh, one four thousandth of a second all the way up to 30 seconds. You see when it changes to seconds you get that little uh, icon there with the uh, seconds. So I can then choose any shutter speed that I want and the camera will select an aperture to get the correct exposure. This mode is really good when you want control over the motion blur or the uh, freezing of motion. Um, if I want to do freeze motion, I'd choose a really fast shutter speed, um, like one uh, 1600 or faster. If I wanted to blur motion, say of a waterfall, I'd choose a slow shutter speed, um, maybe a second, and then the camera would select the correct aperture to get that uh, exposure for you. The next one is AV mode, uh, also known as aperture priority. Exactly the same as shutter priority, except this time um, you select the aperture. You can see here the aperture is selected 5.6 and I can change that uh, as far as the lens will allow. Different lenses have different maximum apertures. Uh, this one goes up to f22 and all the way down to 1.8. Your kit lens, the 18-55, will probably start around 3.5 and go up to f22. Um, if I wanted a really shallow depth of field with the background blurred and just the um, subject in focus, I'd use a low aperture like f1.8. This makes a wide hole in the lens and lets more light through. That will give me a faster shutter speed as well. If I wanted as much in focus as possible, I'll choose an aperture like f11 or f16. This will sh uh, slow the shutter speed down. Um, but will give you maximum depth of field. The next mode that we have is M. This is fully manual. Um, I wouldn't recommend you dive into this mode just yet um, for your important shots, but by all means play around with it. Um, basically, you select everything in this mode. You select the shutter speed that you want, and then you select the aperture that you want. To select the shutter speed, just use the um, top dial. And to select the aperture, press the AV button, press and hold it, and then you can change the aperture as well. Uh, using this mode, you'll need um, some good knowledge on light and how the light meter works in the camera. Um, but just play around with it and see um, what effects you can get. And last but not least, we have a depth. Um, this is a kind of semi-automatic mode again. Uh, it's automatic depth of field basically um, you focus on the subject and the camera will decide what aperture to use to get the most in focus um, so it'll give you quite a, a high aperture and we'll try and get as much of the image in focus as possible okay that's it for this video uh, I'll do some more videos soon uh, more in depth on different settings and how to use the camera I just wanted to go through very quickly the different uh, pictures and icons and settings on this uh, mode dial so keep an eye out for some more videos coming soon and i hope that was helpful thanks very much